Hey guys, so I thought I might show you a different room in our house today. Now this is our living room, and again, like I've said, our house is not big by any means. It's rather on the small side. So this is just how I have maximized the amount of space that we do have to be able to store as many things as possible in a small space. So I'm just gonna like bring you around the room and show you what we have. First off, this side table next to our sofa I keep a basket underneath, and it's a nice big basket from Target, and it has two handles, and we just keep blankets in here for, you know, when you want to just be warm or snuggle up on the couch, something like that. Up top we have a book, candle, coasters, and a lamp. Okay, and in the middle, we never actually got a coffee table since we moved into this house. Look at Evie, she's trying to roll around. <laughs> Um, so what we just have is this ottoman. It's just a padded, like, poof, and this was from Target uh, a couple years ago. And, um, we may get a coffee table maybe sometime in the future, but honestly, having all this open space is so much more effective for us, especially with Evie, and, I mean, we don't really actually watch TV in here. Um, we have a TV in the corner, but we don't ever watch it. So this is more just for entertaining or hanging out, playing with Evie. So we just decided to skip a coffee table altogether and we just use an ottoman. So that saves space is the point of my <laughs> rambling. Um, back here behind our couch, we just tuck away a little travel swing and it's nice, it fits back in this space and we don't actually really access that cabinet so it's fine to keep it there. But on this side, I mean we honestly don't access this side either but this is just where the plugs go for the TV and we drilled the hole in the side of the cabinet so we could plug the power strip into the wall so behind this couch there's a, an outlet so instead of having like multiple wires coming out and plugging into that we just plugged in one power strip and plug the TV and any other wires into that so that makes everything look neat and clean and up on this shelf we have a TV and some frames some little decor things and books. And again, I've showed these bookshelves in, um, what was it, my DVD purge video. And what we did was we got bookshelves from Craigslist and they were really ugly and like a dark oak color. And I painted them white and flanked the window with them. And then we just like trimmed them out on the bottom and top so that they looked built in and they add so much more storage and just display space that normally we wouldn't have had. It was just kind of like a, a box in this room. So moving on to this side, I showed these cabinets, like I said, in the DVD video, but I'll just show you again. This side we have books and a backgammon set behind our more books. On this side, we have um, the few DVDs that I decided to keep, some books, a frame, and you know, a tiger paw, because why not? <laughs> it's actually my husband's from like really a long time ago. Up top, we have some magazines. I collect um, This Old House and Better Homes and Gardens. Then we just have some books and little decorative things. My milk glass collection. I love that stuff. And more books and some frames. Okay. I gotta move move so I don't step on Evie. Okay, moving on to this side of the room. This is a little like a uh, buffet or side tape, sideboard. I'm not really sure what to call it. We actually found it on the side of the road. It was, um, there was an estate sale down the street from my sister and they were getting rid of like a bunch of furniture, I guess that didn't sell. And they had this out on the curb and it had a sticker for like the trash pickup. So we saw it and I loved it. So I we threw it in our car that night and brought it home. And this, you know, everything you see is exactly how we got it. It was painted this creamy white color and all the knobs were, you know, original to the piece. So we love it and it adds so much more storage space in our small living room. Up top we have like a vintage fan, a vintage uh, radio, a vintage box. Can you tell I like vintage? <laughs> and also a microphone, uh, some what's that called? Mercury glass vase and some candles up top. Now in this sideboard, I guess we can call it console table, uh, we decided to designate these side cabinets for baby items. So as Evie gets older and she can actually, you know, access things herself, um, she will be able to get into 
these side cabinets much easier than she would be able to get into, say, the drawers. So I decided to keep the drawers for myself, and I'll show you what's in there in, the, in a second, but the side cabinets we left for Evie to access. So on this side, we have toys, and that's just a little bin from the dollar store. And inside we have like a little bucket she likes to play with and a giraffe, a little mirror, and a blanket like for tummy time. So that's what's in that side. And obviously as she gets older, and you know right now she doesn't really play with that many toys, but as she gets older and accumulates more things, we'll be able to, you know, maybe like take the blanket out and the bucket and put some more things in there. Or even be able to like maybe stack two things to really utilize the vertical space but for now this is just how we have it because she doesn't really play with all that much she's only three and a half months old and also um, I just want to point out that the inside of this cabinet was uh, wood color when we found it so I just had some paint on hand that happened to just like match almost perfectly it's just slightly lighter than the actual piece so I just painted the inside just to kind of like freshen it up so that anything that may possibly like touch her mouth or anything like that. I've already painted the inside so I don't have to worry about you know if it touched the raw wood that could have like had stuff in it you know. Anyways that's my little tangent and that is that side. On the right this is for now it is a diaper station, diaper changing station. And again, as she gets older, this could evolve into just more toy storage. But for now, I have wipes and diapers, extra blankets in the back. That little pink bin was from the Target dollar spot. And right now it has a, um, what's called, pack and play sheet. And also underneath there's like extra socks and pacifiers, things like that. Things that, you know, sh her nursery's upstairs. So, if I don't want to go upstairs to change her every time, it's nice to have this right here and I can just change her quickly downstairs. Now in these middle two drawers, um, they're a little bit heavier and harder to get into and that is why I decided to leave these for myself. But what I have inside are all different like decorative items that I, if I want to be able to like switch things out around the house, I don't have to go down say to the basement storage room and like take a big bin down from a shelf. It's just, I feel like if I put things away like that, I'm never going to use them. So these are kind of just, um, they're not like season specific. Like I have Christmas stuff in the basement. I have fall stuff in the basement, but these are just decorative items that I can use any time of the year that I just like to keep on hand for any time I want to switch something out or just, you know, play around with different surfaces in our house. So that's the top drawer and the bottom drawer. It's a little bit heavier. I gotta get both hands in there. Okay. I have like, you know, a flower pot back there. Also candles, decorative items, vases. Uh, we have like more candles and just other decorative items, votives, and just things like that. So that is what is in these two drawers. And the last little item up here, this is um, a vintage soda crate. So in it we keep um, our magazines. So these are just ones we get in the mail. Um, like I said, I do This Old House and Better Homes and Gardens, and these I haven't actually looked at yet. So as soon as I look through those, I'll, you know, add them into my little collection over there. But also we get like, you know, store uh, catalogs. So we get like West Elm and Crate and Barrel, Ikea, Pottery Barn, things like that. So I just like to keep the the collection level with this container. So if it starts to grow too high, then that is when I know I need to purge what's on the bottom. So that is my system for keeping magazines under control. And I really only keep as many as will fit in this section. I might go a little bit higher, but that's it. Unless I get like magazine boxes, which I may do in the future. Um, I just try to keep a little collection because it can get too crazy and honestly, I don't really look through them. Um, you know, I don't really go back and look through them unless there's something I remember that I liked or it was um, like a Christmas thing or a seasonal thing, things like that. And on top, we just keep a little fuzzy blanket. It's really, really soft. So for tummy time or if Evie's hanging out in her swing and she's falling asleep or something, I can just, you know, snuggle her a little bit with the blanket and she absolutely loves it. So that is our living room, and here's my little Evie girl hanging out, having fun. 
with all this open space that we have on the floor. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found that helpful and I will talk to you later.